How is it going everybody Mr Android here well finally Samsung has started rolling out the much awaited One UI 6.1.1 update for the Galaxy S24 users and the good thing is that Samsung is now trying to roll out the update on the same day for most of its users with that said I have already received this major update on my S24 Ultra and as you can see it is around 3 GB in size this update brings a lot of new AI features along with some major changes and improvements so in this video, we will talk about the best new features that Samsung has introduced with the latest One UI 6.1.1. If you own a Galaxy smartphone and whether you have already received this update or waiting for it to arrive, then make sure you watch this video until the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first let me show you a couple of brand new features that have been added to the Edge panel. If I swipe and open the Edge panel, here you can see we have got two new icons. The first one is the brand new sketch to image feature. This basically lets you transform your drawings into captivative works of art. You don't even need the S Pen for this feature to work, you can just draw with your finger. Once done, simply tap on generate and the sketch will be turned into a beautiful image. There are 5 different art styles to choose from. We have watercolors, illustration, sketch, pop art and 3D design. So depending on your mood, you can truly transform your drawings into visual masterpieces. This feature is also available inside the notes app but I think the quickest way to access this feature is by using the H panel. Another interesting change is that we now have a separate app icon for the smart select feature which is now integrated with AI. Let me show you exactly how this feature works on the latest One UI 6.1.1. Once you activate the Smart Select feature, you will be greeted with a cool animation on the edges of the screen. You can draw anywhere on the screen or select a particular portion to highlight that specific part. You can then download this part, add it to your notes or copy that portion and paste it anywhere you want. This is exactly how the Smart Select tool used to work in previous versions. However, they have now integrated AI features into the Smart Select. For example, if there is a text written in the area you have selected, you will have the option to translate that text into your preferred language right from there. Additionally, there is also the sketch to image option available here which can be used to draw and add any object into that specific image. So the smart select feature has been redesigned with new animations and integrated with useful AI features. Next, when you go into the gallery and select any portrait picture, then tap on the AI button you now get a brand new portrait AI studio option. What it basically does is, it transforms your portraits into cartoons, comics, watercolors or even sketches. So with the help of AI, you can add some artistic effects to your pictures. The good thing is, even if you don't have portraits, you can try this with any picture and it will still able to fully transform it using AI. Now if you like any of these images, you can just tap on download and it will save directly to your gallery. We also get the sketch to image option here which helps you draw and add objects to your pictures. Just draw anything you want to see in that picture and the AI will help you add that specific object. The One UI 6.1.1 update also brings the new compose option inside the chat assist which will help you draft mails, social media posts and more with the help of AI. As you can see when using the keyboard, if I tap on this AI button and then select compose, I just need to give a text prompt with few keywords and then I can choose whether I want it for an email or to post anything on social media. I can also choose the tone as well. Once done, the Galaxy AI will generate a full message which you can copy and paste anywhere you want. Again a very useful feature which we all might be using frequently on our phones. Did you know you can now translate or summarize PDF files on your phone? Previously when you wanted to summarize PDF documents, you have to copy and paste it into the notes app. But now, when you open any PDF file on your phone, you get this all new AI button. Tapping on it will provide you with two different options. You can either translate the entire PDF into your preferred language or summarize everything in the PDF file with just a single click. On Samsung Notes, when we tap on this plus icon, we had the voice recording option which is still present on One UI 6.1.1. However, what's new here is that once you have recorded your voice, when you click on the menu icon, you now have a brand new transcribe option. If you select that, the AI will start converting your voice recording into text. It takes some time to fully transcribe the text and the best part is that you also get the summarize feature right next to it, which will give you the summary directly from your audio file. So not only does it help you to fully transcribe, 
but it also summarizes the recordings for you. This is something new within the Notes application. Another interesting feature that I found inside the Gallery app is the Live Effects Wallpaper. This feature turns any regular image into a live wallpaper with a parallax effect. You can select any image you want and now when you swipe up, you get this live effect option. Tapping on it converts your normal picture into really cool looking live wallpaper. It uses AI to identify the person or a pet and separate it from the background. You can then save the image to your gallery and set it as your live wallpaper on your lock screen or on the home screen. Not only they have added some really useful features, but they have also improved the multitasking experience. Now whenever you play videos in picture in picture mode, if you click on it, you get this new option that lets you directly open that video in a split screen. This option was not available in the previous version and one thing I have noticed here is that they have also changed the layout a bit. It now shows all the recent apps in the grid view when you try to open the other app in a split screen window. Next, there are a couple of new features in the phone dialer. If I tap on the three dot menu and go into settings, under answering and ending calls, we now have two brand new options. The first one is the gesture to answer calls and now you can select either swipe or tap. So when you receive calls on your phone, instead of swiping the button, you can just tap on it to attend the call. Then we have answer using speaker. It automatically activates your phone speaker every time you receive calls. Another useful feature that I really liked is when you are inside the My Files application, you are now able to create a shortcut of any folders or files that you want to access directly from your home screen. In order to do that, just long press on a specific folder, then go to the home screen using your other finger. Now simply drop this folder to create a shortcut. So again a really useful feature that will surely save you some time. These are some of the new interesting features that Samsung has introduced with the latest One UI 6.1.1. Guys I haven't noticed any major improvements in terms of the animations, but that is something we are expecting to see on the One UI 7. Once I receive the One UI 7 beta on this phone, I'll be making videos on that as well. And if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.